Hi, I'm Henry Gilliland, the Mechatronic Specialist with Electric Supply and Equipment. In this video, I'm going to illustrate how quickly you can get things up and running with integrated motion over Ethernet IP in Rockwell's Studio 5000 Logics Designer. But before we get going, please be sure to subscribe to ESNE TV to view more videos like this one. First create a new project using Studio 5000 Logics Designer. Select your processor, in this case a 1769 L18 ERM BB1B. Give the project a name and click Next. Select the firmware version of your processor. Select the number of modules in your PLC rack, then click Finish to create the project. First, download the new project to your PLC. Do this by using the RS Links utility in Studio. Browse to the processor and select Download. After the download is complete, go offline. The project must be offline to create an axis in the controller organizer under Ethernet. Start by creating a new Ethernet module. Right click and select New Module. Type the part number of the servo drive you are adding into the search box. This information can be found using RS Links. It can also be found on the label of the device. In this case, a 2198H003ERS2. Select the drive and then create and give the drive a name. Tell the processor what the drive's IP address is. If you look back in RS Links, you can see the IP address for the Kinetics 5500. The IP address can also be found on the drive's display. Click the Power tab, select the power settings for your application. If you're not sure what they are, ask an engineer. Click OK, then close the module creator. Next, create the motion group. Right click on motion groups and select New Motion Group. Give the motion group a name and click Create. Then right click on the motion group Select New Axis, then select Axis SIP Drive. Give the axis a name and click Create. Double click on the axis or right click and select Properties. In the General tab, select your drive under Associated Module. Under the Motor tab, select Catalog Number as the data source. Click Change Catalog. Then type the motor part number into the search box. This can be found on the nameplate of the motor. Click OK. Click Apply. Notice all the stars that appear when a change is made will disappear after clicking Apply. Click OK and download the updated project to the PLC. When prompted, select Enable Time Synchronization. Motion will not work if this is not selected. Then click Download. Select Yes when asked to put the controller back into run mode. The system is now ready for motion. Please note the quick view window under the controller organizer. By default, this is not visible. In order to view motion, pull up the axis properties. Then click the status tab. Right click on the axis and select motion direct commands. To enable the axis, select MSO and click execute. The axis is now controlling position. Then select the MAM instruction. We will do an incremental move. Let's do a position and speed of one. This will advance the motor one revolution at one revolution per second. See the actual position increases by one revolution every time the instruction is executed. Changing the position field to negative one will make it go in reverse one revolution. Now you know how to configure an axis from scratch in Studio 5000. If you liked this video, please click the like button and notification bell so you'll be notified when we post new videos. Thanks for watching.